Hello everyone, welcome to Larafant, my name is William and this is Filament from Scratch and um, this first tutorial video will be about installation and setup and what I want us to just take or talk about is an overview of what Filament PHP is and Filament PHP as it's stated here is a collection of beautiful uh, full stack components and it can be a perfect starting point for your next application in this uh, sense. And um, I just want to mention a little bit more about Filament. So you can see it has very nice admin panels. And also it includes over um, several uh, user interface uh, components. We have the panel builder, the form builder, the table builder, notifications, actions, info list, and widgets. And filament is actually built on a stack that is called the tall stack. And so we have Tailwind CSS, we have Alpine JS, we have Laravel and Livewire. So if you have some basic understanding of um, all these that we have mentioned here, you can be able to work with filament without any problem. But also, if you have not um, gotten understanding of some of uh, whatever it is that we're having here, you can hang in and see if it can be possible for you to catch up some few of the concepts that we will be talking about as we continue in this uh, tutorial video. So let us go ahead and see how to install. So we go to documentation and uh, we will click and go to uh, get started. And here we have installation. And we have the requirements that you need to have for you to install Filament PHP. You will be having PHP 8.1 or above. And Laravel, you can begin from version 10 or above. And Livewire from version 3.0 and above. So basically, those are the bare minimums that you require for you to be able to work with a Filament PHP. Now, I have an installation of a new Laravel application here, which I have called Filament 3. And um, inside the terminal, I would like us to go ahead and install Filament. And so for us to install Filament, we will require to copy this first line that we have here. And um, once we paste it like that, and our installation is uh, backfiring, I do not know if we... Let me just try again with um, filament filament just to pick for us the latest version. I've been able to do the installation by removing the constraints. So I've just run the command composer require filament filament just that without the constraint that you have in, in front here. And then we can go ahead and run PHP artisan uh, install panels. So uh, you paste that one here. And now it is asking us which um, panel are we creating. So in this case, I want us to create a panel that is called admin. And uh, it, had been, it has been able to do several things. It has uh, published um, the admin service provider and many other uh, things that we have here, chat.js, um, uh, filament app.css, several other things that you can be able to just look at uh, where they are. Here, and then after that, we have the config cache cleared, the root cache, and then the views compiled, and then also there is an upgrade. It is asking me to uh, uh, start the GitHub repository. I will type in no for now, and then now we have our filament fully installed in our machine. I would like us to go ahead and see how we can be able to, how it looks like or something of that sort. So we can go to localhost 8000 and maybe we can go to admin, uh, localhost 8000 forward slash admin. And now, as you can see, we have a login form where we can be able to log in our new user. But as it is, we do not have a user in our database, so we need to uh, do that and be able to create um, a new user. So let us go ahead and see how we can be able to do that. And in this case, by default in Laravel 11, we are using SQLite as our default um, uh, database that we can uh, that that we use out of the box. So I would like us to go ahead and create a filament user. And so we will um, 
go to this that we call create a user and then what I'm going to do is to copy this and then I will paste in the terminal again and so it's asking us for the name of our user I will say William and then the email uh, William at uh, example.com like that and then the password we just put the word password and now we have a user in our database with these uh, credentials so let's go ahead and try and log in so william at example.com and then the password is just the word password and click to sign in then we are having that the credentials don't match our records william at example.com let me check again let me try to type in the password one more time and now i think i had typed in a wrong password and now you can see we are actually getting logged in because it's something that is working in the background and now we have ourselves logged into a very nice dashboard we can be able to check to use the light mode we can use the dark mode and we can also be able to enable a system theme if uh, we have been able to set anything of that sort then we can also go ahead and sign out and so on this side we have a sidebar that you can be able to add items and basically the name is picked from the app name in our .env file so if we change it to something else admin uh, panel like that if you were to refresh again now you can see the name you change from this place and it will now be called something else and that can only happen if we log in again because i have been able to change items in our environment file so you again input the password the attempt to log in now you can see the name has already changed to admin panel so that is basically where it is um, picked from and of course you also have a widget here where we have the sign out and also we have it on this other side so you can be able to click on it to uh, sign out so we will be looking at um, virtually almost every aspect that you can be able to talk about when we are talking about filament admin panel and we will also as we proceed and progress we will also be able to in incorporate filament inside our live wire application and see if we can be able to use some of these customized components in our um, just the normal live wire templates and see how we can be able to do that i will try as much as possible to make this uh, beginner friendly and also to a great extent cover almost each and everything that will be able to be covered in filament 3 and I'm going to make many videos, each with its own concept about whatever it is that we will be looking at. So up until this point, I would like to thank you for following this video up until this uh, end. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider giving a subscription. 